I had an entirely different video planned out for this weekend, but originally because this was a three day weekend, if you guys have been watching my channel for quite some time now, you'll know that on three day weekends, I like to start a project either on the Thursday night or the Friday, depending if we have Friday or Monday off. And then I knit for the entire weekend and finish the project. I've done shorts, I've done a tank top, and I did socks so far. However, I've run into so many countless problems with this pattern that I've chosen and it is entirely my fault. The first time it seems I miscounted stitches or something happened and my count was completely off. So I took it off the needles, recasted it on yesterday at like 11 p.m., re-knit most of it this morning only to realize yet again I've read the pattern completely wrong and instead of doing a stockinette like back and forth, one side knit, one side purled. I was doing garter stitch the entire time. I know I'm not really being descriptive, but I would show you guys the pattern, but I really wanna make this video and I really wanna make this knit. So I'm gonna save that for another time. I think we're just gonna completely change gear. I'm feeling a little bit frustrated with myself and a little bit overwhelmed. This pattern did call for baubles and that was the first time I've ever knit I've crocheted bobbles and because of that it's a four millimeter crochet hook and I've been holding it really really tight in my hand in my left hand and I now feel a little bit of tension a little bit of soreness and it's also 1 20 p.m. now so instead of casting that project on again and re-knitting it I just want to be careful with my hand since it does feel sore I don't want to push it too much and then get an actual injury and then have to take time off and I'm frustrated over that pattern, so I really don't wanna look at it right now. Instead, maybe we could just finish a project in the last day and a half of my three-day weekend I have. And the project that I'm gonna be finishing is my cardigan. What I'm gonna be doing is doing the button band all around, and that's it. The rest is pretty much already done. So I think in a day and a half, we can cast on and bind off a button band. I now have the choice to either do a ripped button band and add some pockets or do a double knit button band but then i'm not too sure i'll have enough yarn for pockets so that is what i'm kind of torn about what i think i'm going to do for the collar and the button band is i'm just going to do a ribbed a one by one rib to match the sleeves and then hopefully i should have enough for pockets We'll see, if I can get one pocket out of this, that would be great. If I can get two, that would be really nice. I bought some plants. <laughs> so I'm really excited because one of the plants that I picked up is a eucalyptus. I did not know that you could buy this and just grow it. So we're gonna try, we're gonna see. The reason why I got these, it's not just so spur of the moment. There is a plan, which you will see tomorrow, hopefully, if it arrives in the mail. But I got some pothos that hopefully during the year, We'll be able to vine out and just be pretty because um, I like really simple plants. I love plants, but I'm someone who likes really simple, low maintenance plants that you can forget. I literally water my plants when I feel like it, which is when I think about it, which is like once a month. So I don't even know what happens. 
So we're back home because we got kicked out of the coffee shop. Well, it closes at four. It's not like I got kicked out, kicked out. I do feel better, honestly, just stepping outside and going somewhere to changing my little area, going to a coffee shop really, really did it for me. Got a few rows in. I got four rows done on the entire rib, so not too, too bad. But I am actually thinking of doing snap buttons, so I'm not doing buttonholes. But in the pattern, once I do write it, I will add, if you prefer buttonholes, do so-and-so instructions. But I think for once, I would like to find some snapping buttons. Because I find buttonholes, uh, like, I don't know, maybe it's the buttons I choose, but I just find buttonholes and buttons. I can't get them as right as like store-bought buttonholes or buttons. It's just... I think I'm kind of happy with the way that the ribbing is going right now. This thickness, I think we're going to keep it like this. I'm just a little bit torn. Yes. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a tubular cast off, bind off. So that's what I did for the sleeve and then the bottom as well of the body. So I think we're just going to keep that cohesive look. And I think for pockets, I think I'm going to have enough yarn left over and I'm going to try to do a side pocket. I think that that would be really interesting to have a pocket where you can slide your hand in like this instead of just being a top down. We're going to try to do an angled one. The light makes me look so shiny, but I can't dim it, but <laughs> ignore the shines. But I think how I'm going to do that is do cast on, knit a couple back and forth and then just start decreasing on one side. So that's where I'm gonna do the rib and then kind of do like a bottom and then a little top cube. And I would just like to have a pocket. If it doesn't work out, I'll just stick the pocket on the inside and just have an inside pocket. But I would really like this cardigan to have pockets. So after yesterday's chaotic start, I'm actually really happy with where I ended up with my ribbed collar. I finished it. So there are a bunch of ends to weave in now, but basically I didn't film finishing the button band with the needle because me and my boyfriend have been watching a couple A24 movies recently. So we watched one last night. It was really weird. Because that didn't take the full movie length, I also had a little bit of yarn left over and I just decided to cast on a pocket. I think I mentioned that I wanted to add pockets to this cardigan, but here it is, the very first pocket prototype. This is the first time that I'm knitting a pocket like this. I've usually typically done the one where you just knit a flat rectangle and then just have a rib at the top. I thought it would be really cool if it opened on the side, kind of like a kind of like a side pocket. So that's what I tried to do. And I did again the same cast off. There's like a little rib portion here. It is unwashed and blocked. It's just pinned out dry right now. So what I think I'm going to do is I have more than enough yarn for a second one. So I'm going to knit that up right now, but I'm actually going to wash and block this guy really, really quickly. And then hopefully I can put it in front of a fan so it can kind of dry. Maybe we can sew it on before the end of the video so that you guys can see what it looks like on the cardigan. I do still need to wash and block the cardigan because the rib, like the whole cardigan is washed and blocked except for the ribbed collar. So it's really, really tight, the yarn right now and really, really scrunched up. So hopefully by washing and blocking, it'll allow it to kind of not be so curly. It is now Monday at 10.50, so let's see how much we can get done before the end of the day. I just changed my tank top. I don't know what it is, but I really don't like 
red on me for some weird reason. I find it makes me look, it's like too bright and it's just very distracting for me. So I just changed. Um, but I just put on some knitting salve for my hands because we've been working them really, really hard and it's nice to just to just like pay attention to your hands and um, this is all natural and it's uh, Knitter's Joint Salve Handmade by Sunflower Knit and I got this at Knit City. I just like to take the time and just really massage my hands and it feels really nice and it smells really good and herbally and fresh so it makes me think knitting and just taking care of myself. So I think I had 24. One, two, three, four, 24. Oof, we're pulling a close one. 25. We're really, we're really close. <laughs> so thinking about how I completely filmed an entirely different video, changed gear, and now we are finishing a different project. So Part of that video was actually coming, was actually you guys coming along with me for a day on Saturday and just maybe checking out some shops, going to get some coffee, some donuts. But because that video isn't happening, one part that I do want to share with you guys from that day, from that footage I shot, is actually uh, the yarn shop. Me and my boyfriend ended up going to Urban Yarns, which is a yarn shop here in Vancouver. It's in Kitsilano and it's a little bit far from me. I need to take a car to go there, so I really don't go there often. I tend to go to Wet Coast Wolves, which I can bike to. It's literally, it's really not far if you Google like on maps, but it's because of the hills. I'm not going to bike up those hills. I'm just not going to do it. I got some yarn. I didn't get like too much yarn. So the first game that I did end up picking is Sadness Garn uh, Sunday. And it is this beautiful little kind of, I guess this is olive. Does it say what color? No, it doesn't say the color. It just says the number. But I got two of these. And my goal with these is to knit a tank top. I absolutely love this color. This type of mossy green olive finish is really my vibe. And I was thinking, yeah, maybe casting on a little tank top with this. I got two of them because they're 235 meters. And the pattern that I was looking at as like a basic idea when I was in store was about 400 meters. So that means that I have three, I have about 55 meters or 60 meters extra to just like play around with if I wanna make it longer, shorter. The second one, was this guy because I really wanted the Van Gogh or Van Gogh. I don't know how to say it. My name is Vincent van der Gogh and I heard that you wanted to know how to pronounce my name. I really wanted this collection from Opal and it is one of his paintings. Now the label is all in German so I can't read it. So we'll see, hopefully I can find a pattern online for this. It is 75% virgin wool and 25% polyamide. It is a four ply yarn. And what I really like about this is that it's self-striping. In the past, I've done Regia self-striping and I had a lot of fun doing it. It was also a virgin wool and I actually really liked those socks. I ended up giving them away, but I thought this would be really fun. And then I saw, this one, which is also an opal sock. I've never knit opal socks before, so I thought that this would be really fun to try. They're both 425 meters, right? This one is also based off of a painting, and I find that really fun. And then this is what the sock, hopefully I can. It looks like one is vertical and one is horizontal. Now, I don't know if that's because you can work the pattern either way, and I have no idea. I tried to read the label and the instructions. Oh, you're so close. I tried to read the label and the instructions are all on the inside, but it's again, all in German, I think. Hopefully the same pattern would work for both and it's just the yarn itself that is self-striping. But I actually really like that, that the yarn kind of, you don't really have to think about it and the colors just come naturally and as they go. So the last thing that I got from Urban Yarns was actually another Noro Hanui silk. 
So I've talked about this yarn in the past. I have two of them in my stash right now, but I thought that for what I wanted to make, I now want to make a really chunky cardigan. And this is an Aran weight. And I just realized I actually would need a third one because they're 330 meters. So to have three would be 990 meters. That's almost a thousand meters. So that should be enough. I was originally gonna make a small crop sweater with it. So I had 660, but I think because this yarn is so beautiful and stunning, I really wanna be able to wear it more. And I feel like this will just make something much more wearable, if that makes sense, bigger, more wearable. This is Noro Hanui Silk. It is 65% wool, 35% silk. And as I said, it is 330 meters. It doesn't state the yardage and the color is 111, lot A. If I'm right, this is the exact same lot, lot A. That means that this is the first lot. So the other one is also lot A. Does that mean that this is the first ever Hanui silk? Is that how that works? Oh my God, that would be so cute, cool. But I remember the other one being lot A and I thought that that was so peculiar. This was my mini little spontaneous yarn haul. That's one pocket done. I kind of decided to go and uh, sew it against the outer edge, the outer ribbing. Um, so that is what I did. I do have the second pocket but done today, but if you see, it needs to be washed and blocked. So I'm gonna do that right now. But while I wait for it to wash and block, and hopefully I can sew it on tonight because the first pocket dried super quickly. I did just get a notification that my delivery is here. So I'm gonna go pick it up downstairs and hopefully we can build this thing before the sun says goodbye. My goal for the year is to drink more water, so stay hydrated. I just wanted to quickly show you guys. First off, I now have a little disco ball, and my plants are now all set up in my little corner. So I just pushed the chair so that I could stand here and like properly film. It seems that we are getting somewhere with this little corner, my little yarn happy corner of my house. But what I wanted to show you guys is actually the finished cardigan. Is it washed? Yes. Is it dry? No. <laughs> and honestly, it's pretty much just the sleeves and the back of the cardigan. And having raw, wet wool against my skin, it's a little irritant. So we're gonna try to do this a little bit quickly. It's so much more itchy when it's wet than when it's dry. This is the cardigan. I'm honestly really, really happy with it and how it turned out. It's funny how this video went from one idea to a completely different one, but at least it seems that finish of February is going relatively well. This is my second or third finished project of the month. 
there's a third one that I'm so close to being done. So I highly recommend you guys come back for Knits and Babbles at the end of the month where I'm going to talk about all those projects. I'm honestly really happy with how this cardigan ended up and now all I need to do is go find some buttons. I think I'm going to go on Saturday to the button shop or the fabric store and see what they have. If not, I've seen what I wanted online. I just would prefer to see it in person than to buy online. I already started writing the pattern. I just need to grade it. And hopefully this one and my other sweater can be patterns that come out during this year. I don't have a deadline. I don't have a date. I have nothing right now because I'm a one woman show. If you guys enjoy these types of videos and like this channel, stick around, watch another video or subscribe. So I'm gonna take off the cardigan, go put it back on the blocking mat. Hopefully it'll be dry. But yeah, have a lovely day. Bye.